I'm going to just tell y'all about the goodness of the Lord. Is that okay? Come on. God, you're faithful. Every morning, your love awakens me. And I so often, just moving with the motions, neglecting the oceans of grace I've been granted for the day. He's faithful. Like the sun rising and setting, undeserving. I truly am. But instead of listing my flaws and unworthiness, God, I will worship you. I will praise you for your never-ending love, for your steadfastness, for your graciousness, for you kept me. You kept me on multiple occasions when I didn't want to be kept. You kept me when I listened to a voice that twisted the truth, a voice familiar to my past that gave me a temporary comfort and numbed a painful shame that I didn't want to deal with, but not dealing with it only made matters worse. What I thought was just a scab, if left alone, would heal itself eventually. What I thought was just a scab, if you leave it alone, it'll heal itself eventually, was actually a broken heart that needed therapy, that needed surgery, that needed to be stitched back together. But God, your faithfulness has walked me through every surgery and mended Every broken heart, God, you're faithful. Strength and encouragement I can find in you. Love and community I can find in you. You have surrounded me with so many amazing people. He's faithful to run to, to cry to, to scream and to shout to. Every time I seek, I find, and every time I knock and ask, I'm answered, and even when I feel like a scratch CD, like a scrap, like a scrap, like a scrap, like a scratch CD, his faithfulness has wiped off the scratches. And although I feel like a cassette, my tape is all stretched out, but God, you have updated, upgraded, and uploaded all of my prayers to be your favorite stream because you love to hear my voice, and although I feel like a broken record, like a broken record, like a broken record, like a broken record, your faithfulness reminds me that my record's not broken. No, it's just your jam, and sometimes you leave it on repeat. So help me to believe that I, a righteous woman who can fall seven times in a day, but even after seven, Eight, nine, ten, twenty-seven, and fifty-nine can still get back up and pray and declare the goodness of the God that He's faithful. He's faithful. He's healed the centurion by just speaking a word. And he gave us this power when he said that a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. And with the increase of his lips shall be filled death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. I hold the power. I hold the power. Like open your mouth and let your vocal cords shake, dancing through the airwaves around you, creating exactly what you desire. You know what they say. When you're in a pickle, if you choose to talk bad or say nothing at all, you can expect the bad or nothing at all. The words we choose to speak intensifies our situation. The words we choose to pray intensifies our prayers because he's faithful. He's faithful to complete the work that he started in me. He was faithful to reach down into a bottomless pit and still call me faithful, forgiven, loved, Beautiful, strong, no longer ashamed. And so I can stand here before you boldly and say that it all works together for the good because we are those that love God and are called according to his purpose and simply because he's faithful. He's faithful to stand in the courtroom of heaven and plead my cause because he's already taken my punishment. He's faithful to sit at the right hand of the Father and intercede on my behalf. God, you're faithful. And I will forever praise you for your unfailing love. In Jesus' name. Amen.